give everybody a second to get on. Today is Saturday, November 9th, 2016. This is Daily Reflections. Um, tonight, I had a little shout out while I was on the highway tonight. I ended up getting a flat tire where I was able to make it into a rest stop on my way to Ohio. And I was, uh, You know, <clears throat> I could have looked at the whole situation, been kicking off the tire, and cursing up a storm, and, but I didn't. I knew that good things were going to come. I knew that everything was going to be okay, everything happened for a reason, and I met a couple wonderful people. There was a couple of great truck drivers that tried to help us out also, and it's funny because they just basically laughed the whole time. Uh, I was even offered a couple of shots of vodka from one of the people. I'm not going to say which one, but that was funny. I know I didn't take any, but... Uh, it, it just made me miss my Marine Corps brothers about, you know, and it made me feel grateful to be a veteran. It made me feel grateful for the service because I know a lot of these people, um, they don't need or want anything. They do it just because he needed, he just helped me. And I know every single day I'm always saying, make sure to help a person. Well, tonight I got help. Tonight... I had somebody take time out of their schedule and do something and ask nothing in return. And, you know, I cannot tell you how great of a feeling that feels. So I'm sitting here trying to tell everybody to do those exact things, and it happened to me. So make sure every day you're out there, it doesn't matter if they're military or not, just be nice to each other, be kind, get rid of the negativity. I finally, there was a couple people, I finally on my Facebook got so sick of the negativity because it was bringing me down. I had to get rid of people. I didn't, I, I had to get rid of them. It was just too negative and their whole lives were nothing but negative, negative. And that's, you know, when you wake up and yes, we do look at social media. Sometimes I'd rather look at the computer than go on the news because we all know all that crap's pretty much staged on the news. You know, they're going to tell you what they want, not what's actually going on. And I like to see all my friends, by the way, congratulations to my buddy Jay for their new child. I'm you keeping you in my prayers, and I'm so proud of you. You're going to be a great father, and she's going to be a great mother, man. I just want you to know that. And to my other friends out there that are great parents, keep it up. You guys are doing great. Teach your kids to be positive. Teach your kids... Teach your kids to always defend themselves. Teach your kids who heroes are. Teach your kids what life has to offer. But always make sure to teach them to be able to protect themselves too. Because guess what? You get a bunch of these idiots out there that are just going to all the time. And that's not how I'm going to look. I'm going to look up positive. I would rather be positive with my friends and let them know how great they are. Than ever curse at them and yell at them to down them.
full of life. Tonight, be there for each other. Be there for your kids. Be there for your family. I talked to my daughter tonight on the phone and told her I loved her and I cared about her. I also talked to my dad tonight on the phone and I let him know how much of an influence he is and how much I just respect him for always being there for me. And it just I just had a humbling experience that caused me to want to reach out to those that I love and care about. Now, some people can call me weak. That's fine. But I guarantee I'm not. I just care about those that care about me that have been there for me. So, and you guys are all awesome. Every one of you guys. I watch your stories. I watch your kids grow. I watch your families form, you know. I see sometimes you get in the sadness, and I'm sorry that those sadness times happens, but I see when you get these jobs and you're happy, and I see when everything's going great. And those are the times you got to hold on to, the times that are great, because there's always going to be bad times. But remember, there's always going to be good times too. So tonight, let's say a prayer for those that are sick and depressed. Let's say a prayer for those with PTSD. Let's say a prayer for those men and women in the military that feel like they don't have anybody to help them, that God reaches out to them and lets them know that there is somebody for them, that we're here for them. They just need to learn to know and see that we're here. They can call their brothers and sisters. For all those that aren't military, that are depressed tonight, let's pray for them. Let's pray for our kids tonight. Let's pray for our children tonight because our kids, you know, we need to keep understanding that they're not adults. So when we discipline our children, we have to see the, it through their world. We have to see it through their eyes. So in other words, we don't discipline them. We teach them. We instruct them. You don't have to spank your kids. You don't have to throw them in the, their room or whatever else. Why not find fun ways of letting them understand what's going on? Because they are just kids, and they don't understand. So don't punish your kids. Teach your kids find different ways it takes a little more time but that's what's being a parent a lazy person who is the one who beats their kids guess what if you're you know you've got to teach them but teach them through kindness teach them through civility you know if they got to be grounded that's one thing but we have to show them the proper way we have to show them and together as a community as a family we can do that so tonight we're going to pray we're going to say in our father then in hell mary then it all ended on this note I am so happy that you guys are all in my life. I am blessed to have each and every one of you. So let's bow our heads. If you're not a religious person, that's okay. You can listen and meditate or something. Dear God in heaven, please be with those men and women tonight that are feeling, dispre- this deep, nah, that are feeling depressed and down on themselves. Please be with those tonight that have lost loved ones, that have loved ones with a terminal illness. Please be with those tonight that are in the hospital because they've either got drug addictions or they got hit by a drunk driver that they're holding and clinging on to life not knowing this day would come so soon. Please be with them and help guide them on the proper path of which direction to take. Please be with all the parents out there, the single parents, the parents that are together, the moms, the dads. They're just trying to put food on the table and they're trying to do what's right by their kids and by themselves. Please be with our family and friends that they find happiness and they continue to stay happy and positive. Please be with all those veterans that trying to feel like that they understand that there is hope and
for everybody else. Understand this. Each and every one of you matters. Each and every one of you is awesome in your own respect. Some of you have powers that you don't even know about. No, we're not superheroes. And no, there's not like magical powers. I'm talking about powers of persuasion, powers of love, powers of kindness, powers that you can relate to people when others cannot. Each one of you has an inner part of you that has a lot of love to give. You must learn to let it loose, build from the inside, set goals for yourself, do the things that make you happy, go to the places that you need to go, take chances in life. If you have to bungee jump because it scares you, then bungee jump. Jump out of a plane if it scares you. Do something every day that scares you, but can create joy in an adventure that you don't know. Some of you are getting out and crossing the street may be an adventure. Some of you live in my hometown who have never been across the Mississippi River to Missouri. Just cross the dang Mississippi River and go over to Missouri so you can say you've been to another state. To some great people today. Every one of you matters. Every one of you motivates me. Every one of you, I wish I could raise up on a pedestal and let you know how great you are. Because each one of you matters. You've made a difference. And you're going places. You might not know where yet, but you're going to great places. My name's Jeffrey Jansen. And I think you're awesome. You all have a great weekend. God bless each one of you guys. And thank you for listening to me. I'll talk to you guys all soon, okay? God bless.